Uh, LSU has hired Scott Linehan as its new passing game coordinator. Uh, oh, yeah, there it was right there. Uh, Stephon LaFors, the head coach at Parkview Baptist, of course, prepped here in Baton Rouge, went and played collegiately at Louisville before his pro career, and his offensive coordinator for his first year there at the University of Louisville was Scott Linehan. So one's perspective, Stephon's good enough to join us. Thanks for the time, man. How are you? Doing good, man. That was a little throwback song there, man. Luna's back in the day, man. <laughs> Brought back your memories. <laughs> why, why do you have so much more, like, street cred and knowledge than I do just instantly? Like, you may – I just instantly feel dumber and not cool. I'm already <laughs> dumb and not cool and bald and all that sort of stuff. And then you come in here and just in a millisecond make me feel even smaller. No, man. No, no man. I guess because I was forced to listen to music like that, maybe. I don't know, man. I – that's not true, man. It, you're, you're you're the man, dude. It's just my own insecurities coming coming forth. That's all. <laughs> um, hey, uh, all right. So you hear the news yesterday about Linehan. Your initial thought is, wow. Yeah, no. Um, w- one of my coaches at Parview kind of sent me a text. He, you know, obviously he loves LSU football and that kind of thing. So he's staying up to date with what's going on, and and, and he kind of messes with me sometimes. You know, he'll throw out some random names, and so he he he, he threw that one out, and I thought, come on, man, you're joking, right? And um, and sure enough, it was confirmed. And uh, so I got excited, man, because because it's just good to know somebody, right? So you know, kind of maybe you can have some access and come, you know, be be around the program more and see what they're doing and you know, steal ideas and that kind of thing. And and of course, when you know somebody at a place, you root for them and you root for that team even more. And so uh, I was excited because Coach Linehan was really the one that brought me to Louisville, and he's the one that liked my highlight tape that I sent out and he was the one that was sold and he went to bat for me. He went to John L. Smith, who was the head coach at the time at Louisville and, and he went to bat for me and um, could never thank him enough for that opportunity to go up there and uh, learned a lot from him. He was a great teacher at the quarterback position. I learned a ton from him. I wish he would have been able to stay, uh, but he ended up leaving after uh, my second year, which I redshirted, so my redshirt freshman year, he he ended up getting a job with the Vikings and the in the pros, and you know, had a long career in the pros, and uh, had some ups and downs, of course, but but I'm sure has learned a ton from working at that level for for a long time. So I'm excited to see what he brings to the table, but I also know what LSU did this past year with Brady and Burrow and those guys. You know, the expectation, the bar has been set, and so it's going to be always tough for anybody, whoever that would have been, to come in and and take that position over but I know coach Linehan will uh, do a great job you know developing quarterbacks and um, I'm sure he'll add his his twist and his flavor to to what they're doing there so you actually led us down a lot of good paths there you mentioned Linehan was the one that brought you to Louisville which I didn't know that but I assumed he was obviously involved in your recruitment people have asked as a guy who's now 56 years old and hasn't been in the college game since 2001 what type of recruiter might he be on the staff so what would you say to that yeah, that, that's a good point. Um, I, I don't know. You know, I mean, to me, I think he's a great one because he, he brought me in, right? Right, right. <laughs> um, but, no, I mean, he, he's a great guy. What you see is what you get. He, he's, he's To me, he's never really too high or too low. He's kind of even keel, and he's real. I mean, he's going to tell you what, what he thinks and, and um, what you're going to need to do to improve and all that good stuff. But, I, to me, I think when he goes into a living room and he talks about all the experience he has at the NFL level, I mean, that's, that's got to, that's got to be appealing to, to, to kids and to some families uh, that he's, he knows what it looks like. He knows what it takes to get there and uh, he'll be able to sell that. So you're in a, in an interesting spot now. Okay. So, and Stefan LaFour is our guest. He's the head coach at Parkview Baptist played for Scott Linehan when Linehan was the OC at Louisville in the, uh, the early late nineties and early two thousands. So you're, you're a head coach now let's assume one of your student athletes is being recruited and Scott Linehan is, is in the living room. How, how do you expect that conversation or what, what's the conversation that you would have with your player about potentially playing for Scott Linehan? Well, I'll say first and foremost that like I said earlier, I mean, he, what you see is what you get. He's not, not going to be flashy and flamboyant and, and, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, he, he is, he's a football guy. He's a good guy, good family man. And, you know, if I was a coach of a player or a parent of a player, you know, I, I would be comfortable sending my son or my player to go play for that guy. Cause to me, he, he's, he's a, just a good man. And that's, that's what you look for. That's what I would look for. And he knows his stuff. And so I feel like he would put 
my player or my son, if I'm a parent of that 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 young man in a position to do well and um and have success and you'll learn the ins and outs of the game from the offensive side of the ball, but then you also learn how to be a good man and a, and a citizen and all that good stuff that that goes in into to the whole big picture. He, you mentioned that he worked with the quarterbacks. As I kind of read through his bio, and look, admittedly, Stefan, I mean, I, I didn't really pay super close attention to the Minnesota Vikings when he was there. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, sure. I, I, don't, I don't know the guy's whole whole lineage, but it looked like he spent a lot of time working with receivers, which I think is appealing because Joe Brady did a bunch of that. Uh, how would What do you know about Scott Linehan as a working individually with positions, be it quarterback or receiver? Well, for me... I, I got a taste of him working with the quarterbacks. He was the offense coordinator, but he was also the quarterback coach. So we worked with him every day. And, and in the meeting rooms, we were with him. And, um, and again, very, very knowledgeable. He played the position um, himself. And so he, he knows what it looks like and what it feels like and what it should look like and all that good stuff. So I learned a ton from him from a technical uh, aspect and from, you know, footwork and, and throwing motion and, and where your eyes can see all that good stuff I mean to me he was a great teacher of the game and so I, I, I'm easily from my in my opinion when you work with quarterbacks you know where the receiver should be and, and how all that works and so to me it goes hand in hand when you're able to work with quarterbacks you should be able to work with receivers now I mean learning releases and all that good stuff I'm, I'm sure he knows what he's talking about with all that so he could almost pl be, be plugged in any position on the offensive side of the ball and, and do just fine have you talked to him since the the announcement? I, I, I shot him a text when I found out, and um, and he replied back. And you know, I said, "Congrats, and welcome to Baton Rouge." And if he needs help with anything on this side, you know, with where to go and all this good stuff, you know, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to help. And and he responded back and said thanks. And I hadn't talked to him in a long time, and so he asked me how we I've been doing and and what I've been up to and and all that good stuff. So. Again, pretty cool for me on my, you know, selfishly for me to have a guy that I know on staff there and, and to be able to reach out and, and maybe pick his brain or look for help or, or whatever. Very true. A couple more for you. Stephon LaFour is our guest, head coach at uh, Parkview Baptist. I uh, played for Scott Linehan when he was the OC at Louisville back in the early 2000s. One big question, and I think this is maybe the probably the biggest question that a lot of fans have outside looking in, is you go from Joe Brady, who's 30 years old, modern spread rpo all that stuff to an older coach who's been around a long time uh, i say older 56 not like he's you know got a foot in the grave but you understand what i mean just you know different generational generational how do you think scott linehan can adapt to to the modern offense um i, I think he'll do fine uh, you know again i i don't think he's going to be expected to come in and just do it all right i mean i you know i think joe brady of course had his his, his you know say or whatever in, in that system in maybe a particular set of bunch formations or empty or whatnot. But, but I'm sure coach Ensminger is still going to do his thing and coach Linhan is going to be able to work with him just fine. You know, I think obviously working in the pro game, there's going to be some things that they did well and that he, he liked a lot, whether it be in Dallas or in St. Louis or all the different places that coach Linehan has been and, and they'll be able to work just fine together. I think, I mean, again, because of the type of guy he is, I think that won't be a problem at all, and, and uh, he'll be able to adjust and, and um, do well there. And, again, it's not like the things that they w were doing last year had never been done anywhere else. I mean, you know, other people do them. And, again, it's just about the timing of when to call it, when to run it, and making sure you guys are coached up well enough to execute it the right way. And I know Coach Linhans, again, is a great teacher, and so – they'll be able to learn the techniques and how to execute it again. The timing of when you call and all that good stuff, that's the key. How are the Eagles going to be this year, man? Man, we got some work to do. You know, year one didn't go as well as any of us wanted, but um, it's the foundation, and uh, guys are working hard this all season. But, yeah, man, we got some guys that are coming back that have gained a lot of experience uh, this past season. So we're excited to see uh, what, what this year will look like for us. Uh, but we got a lot of work to do. But, again, just going from year one to year two, we'll be able to start out further ahead this this summer than we did last summer. And so you think uh, that that would kind of bring us further along. So we're, we're excited to see uh, what how this team unfolds. But guys are working hard this offseason. And so uh, 
I expect uh, better results this, this fall. I'm pulling for you, except when you play my Bears, especially because uh, me and Collada always have a dinner bet. He never pays up. Uh, he owes me, but uh, he's, you know, <laughs> it, that's just that's what you get with that guy sometimes. I mean, he loses a bet and he doesn't pay up. I'll tell you what, guys like that, right? <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Stefan LaFour is the uh, head coach over at Parkview, man. Good luck uh, in year two. We appreciate a couple minutes. We'll catch up down the road, all right? Yes, sir. Anytime. Thanks for having me on, guys.